Hey guys, welcome back. Today I about to do something super stupid or something cool. We'll see how it ends up. Uh, uh, but I wanted I thought it would be interesting for you to share to see this. So I got this Longines watch, and this is a vintage Longines. Uh, judging by the movement, uh, I presume it's from. 60s, 70s, and uh, that's it. Uh, just before, because of the movement and serial number. So this is a used watch. Uh, has needs some work to be done. It probably needs a service, even though it works correct. Uh, but it's always a good to service when you get a vintage watch because just to change the oil like at the car, because oil dries up uh, within the watches. Uh, however, uh, I snatched this watch. But there are some things that needs to be corrected, and one of the things I haven't noticed when I bought this watch were the hands. Of course, uh, there's a lot of scratches on the crystal, but uh, that's easy fix. Uh, uh, but if you notice these hands on this watch, you see that the hands are a little bent. Notice this one, and okay, I said someone bent it, uh, but I notice. This one here is also bent. So having this watch that has a little bent dial, has a domed dial, uh, after looking at this for a day or maybe one or another two, I figured out that someone uh, took these hands off because normally hands on these watches are bent but downwards. Downwards on the doom dial, bent downwards. I've seen, I've seen that on many of these watches. So I figured out, so I, that's my thoughts anyways, that someone removed those hands and some maybe old watchmaker who has a poor sight or something, I don't know, uh, put these hands back but in the wrong order. So they are bent upwards instead of downwards. So maybe it was a speed, maybe it was something else, maybe it was mercury retrograde, what not. Uh, I'm here now, I got the watch and this drives me crazy. I don't have the time to go to the watchmaker and the simple fix. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do something silly and something stupid. I'm gonna try to remove these hands and put them correctly. Um, I've done this, I've done, I removed hands before, but I never on something on a cool watch like this with a nice dial. So uh, this that's why I call in this but stupid idea because professional can do it within like three minutes and it will be perfect. But I don't have that <laughs> kind of time to wait. And I thought let's do something stupid together guys. So I had the watch. Uh, this is a really nice Longine. Uh, I've been waiting, uh, searching for a cool Longine for a lot because I had enough of the megas and back in the days uh, one gene was equal to Patek. Uh, so uh, what I need uh, is I need a little uh, help for the eyes and this is all uh, cheapo stuff from eBay. Uh, you need a hand remover. I tried to remove hands without this and it frustrated me so many times that I decided to grab one of these. This is a cheap stuff and I do not recommend using this. And of course, I do not recommend at all you doing this kind of operation. Maybe you buy a $10 Russian Raketa or something like that with a bad dial or some Chinese watch and try it on before. I will have a little bit of tweezers just in case you need that. So, uh, I'm gonna cut it here because I remember I need something else and I will return to you guys. So you will need a bit of paper and some scissors and I'll show you that later. Uh, ideally you want some transparent nylon or something like that but I'm not bothered to do that much. Maybe this one but I don't like it. It's wrinkled up. So yeah, first of all we need to open the watch and we are in luck because this watch is a vintage one and you can easily access the dial but uh, so this is a screw in case back so it's not a screw in case back sorry so I'm just gonna 
quite a little bit be careful and I'm in the way because this is easy and I have this cool Victorinox with the Piaget logo on it which I picked up somewhere probably at the flea market some time ago and I used this to open the case packs now let me just show you uh, the how I do it how I open it and this is a very specific case from the Spitties and um, I'm not really sure um, this is case actually I am sure this is a case of uh, Longine C and this little here moment holder is integrated instead of normal moment holder down there you will find it on the case back and this watch is marked here uh, uh, Longine with an hour watch going code in New York Genie Montreal so this is a did a little bit of a research and this is an export Longine model for the North American market for for the American market that so that's why it's Longine Montreal uh, and now I want to show you the moment and you can see how beautiful this little moment is and why the Longine was had to had with Patek in the days and there's a one little quirk you can see here with the, these three jewels they have their own golden holders uh, I, I believe this is a steel but still uh, you won't see this in any watch you will just have a uh, jewels put in the, in the place but not with this kind of holders so this is not how it's supposed to be done but I'm not a professional guy so stop cringing but you can see the hands are pointing upwards and they should be pointing downwards you can see the dial later on I will clean this dial a bit more but uh, I definitely need some movement holders and some large tools but this is a just gorgeous moment this piece here anyways uh, we are not here to admire the watch we are here to replace these hands and what I should have done prior to this is to move the hands towards the midnight but we don't have a date so it will be this will be okay so this is a very important step when you are doing this you can find some more tutorials on YouTube uh, to be frank and honest I haven't checked any tutorial prior to making this video I did many years ago but uh, this step is important because uh, you want to line up the hands otherwise you will have a problem with telling time later on So what I did, I took the scissors and cut this paper in half. I want to protect the dial. Uh, so that's important and to protect the dial. I have this small second here that bug bothers me, but I will try to do it from in front. And I'm using this because later on I will probably have the watch service if something goes bad and I have a good watchmaker available to me and ready to me so I have a little bit of insurance so if you have an expensive watch and that you are willing not to and don't do this if you don't have a good watch make that's what I'm trying to say so I think this is not good enough but it should do for now it's so hard to do this through the viewfinder but I decided to share this with you oh this is the best I could do right now I don't have much patience so guys please do not try this at home and blame me if you want to try this at your own risk so what you want to do is to I put paper to protect the dial, but this is a 
Okay, I want to see. I removed the sag uh, the minute hand, but I want to see if this one's bent too. And I don't think it is, but I will definitely remove this one too because it sticks out a little bit. This is gonna be a long, boring video, but what can I? What can I do, guys? I need to get this thing done and so I'm gonna it's very important to protect the dial. I don't like this tool at all. It's too snappy. But I did it. So this is a second. That's why you, I really don't need this anymore. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a hand. Let me see if I can focus this for you. Anyways, this is the hand, and I'm gonna try to put them back and put in the correct order. So yeah, uh, this little scuff here, uh, this was before, so I haven't made any damage to the dial. That's the most important thing, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna repeat, put it back in. So. This is really problematic to do off on through the viewfinder. But and you shouldn't that use your fingers too much because of the fingerprints. But hey, I'm not a professional. And always make sure you have a handy professional in case you screw things up. So I managed to... Uh... Sorry guys, I accidentally pushed the wrong button and it cut the video off, but I, I managed to push this little hand, so now it's important to align it at the 12 position correctly and now you just press it back in and that went easy surprisingly easy It's not my first time doing this, but it is first time doing this through the viewfinder. Let me just inspect this little second hand. And I was wrong. This second hand was not put incorrectly because you can see this little notch here. Hope you can catch that. And it does, it does bend upward. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't like it, but it's one of the quirks of the watch. Uh, so if nothing else, uh, I won't be bothered anymore because I know that is what's supposed to be. I cannot do this through the viewfinder. Sorry, guys. Just a little update. I had to remove the hands again and put it back together because it wasn't properly aligned to the 12 o'clock. It's very important to properly align it. Now the hands are properly aligned at the 12 o'clock. 
and that's what you want to do so this was this was not what this is not a tutorial video I just wanted to check why these hands are banned but I guess this is one of the quirk of finding cool vintage watches I discovered some other things about this watch but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean the dial from the specks of dust here and put it all back together So that's it, I removed the hands and now I know that they are bent upwards but because it was intended to be wise, is that so? I don't know, maybe of the big applied logo, but uh, in any case that's it, I'm gonna now go to polish this little bit of a crystal here and put it all back together. So that's it pretty much. Um, that's it. that's it for this video. Uh, if you like it, please do not try this at home. If you're not having any experience in playing ETC Gunner for this, because I uh, just wanted to share this little project with you guys. So, thank you for watching. I'm ETC Gunner. Please like if you like watches, subscribe, and see you in the next one.